okay guys so today i'm going to actually show you um, how to download the pentecost youth app and give my review about it i, I actually downloaded the app already and i've gone through everything so I, I want us to have a short review about it and see how it is yes and let me see how you are going to actually review or rate it as well so first of all i want us to actually go to play store and download the app so you have first things to open your play store and um, actually when it's open i have it open in here but then what if you are now can search for it now when you key in the name uh pentecost pentecost youth app okay when you key in this you won't see it yes so you have to use the one with underscore so you type um pentecost underscore youth underscore app that is when you can actually download it and someone can also actually give you the direct link if i give you a direct link then that one you can just down click on it and it will send you there so this is how to actually download it by yourself on play store so you just click on it in here then you, you click and download now the first problem i was having but then i think it's cool and probably some people complain about the size of the app the app is a uh, 40 megabyte um to, to my understanding to me it is cool because i have some apps on my phone they occupy about 100 megabytes and but then probably people will complain because they see that it's 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 a church app and but then i think it's cool because um when when, when you see the resources in, in they have videos live streaming they have some podcasts and it contains a lot so i think and i believe that is why the size is all that big so to me the size is encouraging yes the size is very very encouraging so let's open the app assuming you've downloaded so let's open the app so when you open the app for the first time it's going to be your interface so um it's coming it's loading and it's coming so the app just stopped yes i've actually been having this kind of problem when i use for the first time i don't know whether it's because they are now actually if now started that is why this kind of bags actually come and um, it keeps on happening like that so it's in now it's in now but it will stop again i don't know i don't know so you just come back in here so when you come in i mean when you just actually open the app we have these things that you can do you can sign it was you have to sign up okay so you just click on sign up like this but then let me do it this way for you now when you make it in the portrait form we have you can use it as a guest now with the usage as a guest it means that you are going to use it without signing in now this is cool but not cool because they have we have some things that you can use as a guest for example if if you want to use the streams of living water devotional app as a guest you can use it yes you just click on use, use as a guest and it's it's going to send you there but then i'm going to actually sign up right now so click on sign up then they ask us so let me key in the details here i have my name ebenezer mm -hmm. i'm going to in here then i have let me say christocentric <laughs> so christocentric yeah so say name oh how oh, okay so just ebenezer then the same name will be amwa country so amwa country like that then email so email i use amwa con amwa con dot a e four at gmail dot com then the mobile phone have my phone at zero five four six twenty six eight seven nineteen. You have to make sure that you, you key in the a uh, correct phone number. So password, I think with the password, I'll just use a normal thing. So something one two three four. Zero nine eight seven. 
I'll change it so <laughs> I don't have a problem. One, two, three, four, zero, nine, eight, seven. All right. So just I have read. I've not read, but I, I'm just checking because I don't have time to do that. If you have time, you can go and do it. So make sure that all informations are cool. Then just click on this sign in. You will start signing up. So now when, when open it, they will ask you to ask you to actually upload a profile picture. You can like to you can just keep it so I, I want to add a picture so send me to my listing and get constant image so just get this one in here um me myself i don't have myself the phone is mine but i don't have my picture on it it's so interesting so i think um let me use this okay i have this image here you know uh yeah so let me use this image yeah I have this one I think um, oh god okay let me use this one so just select this something like this like that then just something like that so that is my image click on continue to upload your profile picture so now you are in so when you come they said unlimited access to all features <laughs> wow so we humbly request you make payment for the soft copy of the stream of living waters at a cost of one cities or two cities <laughs> that is so big so let me also come in here so that you see what is going on what 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 this means is that um you can use a devotional but if you want to actually have unlimited access to it then you're going to pay some amount of money i think it's cool because um when you actually download the i mean christ embassy that is some um, rough study of reality for example the app there are some features it is paid and i think it's cool because it's going to help us support the church in managing the app and something like that so when it comes to that place too i think it's cool so let me just close it yes so now there is the interface when when you open it that is in the landscape mode and if if you have it in the portrait too that is how it is going to be like something like this yes so i'm going to use it in the landscape mode so i have the market and resource devotional counseling everything so first of all let me go to the resources okay now when you go to the resources tab I don't know why it's not working. I don't know why. I don't know why. All right, all right. The app keeps closing. It says it's closed, but okay. Let's come back. I'm sure because um, it's, it's it's now in. That is why this kind of things are happening. I'm sure, they they will still be working on it. So, click on resources. So realize that the interface is very very nice. You can see how things are going. The interface is nice. The resources i don't know why it's, it's, it's not it's not opening counseling okay but the counseling is in so if you want a counts if, if you if you need counseling you can just come in here do you do you want your question to go public or private so if it's public just click on go public so with the go public it means that everything that you actually post in there everybody's going to have access to it i don't know the app is this is running slow too much i don't know why I think I got to close and open it again. Yes, in the portrait mode so that I think that will be helpful. All right, so just count devotionals. So when you click on the devotionals, this what you see that is the streams of living water. So just click on it. Oh no, that is so bad, so bad, so bad, so bad. I don't know whether that is my phone. And the guys you can check your yours and see because for the review i'm doing this is what i'm seeing in the app which is not encouraging at all i don't know why so let me close everything right now reopen it again and see how it's it's, it's actually going to be yes let, let me open it again so that we can see how everything is going so i'm opening it again then now we see i i don't know and it's all part of the review so that you, okay so now everything is in i mean the interface is in clear now so if you want actually we humbly request 
phone used for 12 months to uses six months once that is very very cheap said continue with a free trial subscription does not auto renew the app may become unusable when your subscription or free trial expires let's close it then we come to the i mean the resources when you click there we have video resources audio sermons music resources document resources and so the ones you are interested you just click on it and you access them when you come to the devotional that is where the streams of living waters to comes in yes, so okay everything is clear in now yes everything is clear right now there's the free trial <laughs> so it's, it's, it's limited the features are limited okay features are you, you can create a note and you can create a note from what you've done to maybe what you've studied and something like that your entire notes in your those kind of things when you are done just click on submit then you submit your notes so if you want to go and read it you got just go to read notes then your notes will be in just and start reading them that is so nice about the app then the next place to go is the home so that's that's your home tab you see uh, some galleries in here you can just be scrolling through them very handy like that then we come to the counseling site where the when you need the counseling you can go there for counsel so you have the public and the private so um if you want private it means that i mean everything is going to be private if you want public it's going to be public right so i need the public counseling so um what is your question hello please i what 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 should i ask so maybe please i need i need help on how to study effectively okay is it a general question no so let me use education then show my identity yes so then click on submit so it means that my identity will be shown they will see my picture everything yes it's public so your question has been posted then now we have counselors here that you can choose any of them and chat with them okay so for example um we have pastor eric abiku mrs inis da we have a lot of ministers in here that you can choose any of them and contact them and um you can start working with them so i know i know pastor clement akim Ijim, i know him yes so we have other ministers and people the church knows them so probably it's no way to contact them yes so something like that so if you need any of them just click on this man you can show you can just start hello then you can start chatting with the person please i have i have a question question to ask so when he comes online, probably he's going to reply me then keep on continuing. So that is how the counseling session to is like that. So that's how the counseling session of the app is. Okay. Then we come to the market. Uh, that is where I mean you can go and buy items on the website. So you realize that you have a lot of apps in here. So amazing. So for example, I um, might need lens um, spectacles so spectacles spectacles just search if some is in there there's nothing like that so maybe i need laptop search for it because it's it's, it's new now so most people have naturally enrolled as i mean sellers on the platform that is why we are not we are not getting a lot of things that we are searching for but probably when you do that you uh, when time goes on you get to actually know more about the app like that yes. so i think that is so far that's the general or a brief overview about the app to me i'm, I'm going to rate the app four stars yes I, I'm, I'm not going to give it a five star because i have some small issues something like when you open and it closes yes, it has been happening to me so I, I i'm going to give it a four star 